Hey guys, Jamie here for Start Riot, and I am here with Matt from Dinosaur Pilot. Matt, how's it going? Yo, yeah, it's going well, man. You um, good? Yeah, super hot, which is awesome. I love being hot. Like me, you're also wearing all black. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, I'm staying all weekend. I'm guessing you're maybe not, but I forgot to bring shorts, and I feel that was a bad oh, choice. That's a huge error. Even I've got shorts, man. I'm only here for a day as well. We're, <laughs> we're here for a day and then prepared for all outcomes. Yeah, well, like yeah, I just thought I'd chill out later in some shorts, you know. Definitely. I, I would stay. We have to. We're flying. Uh, we're starting a US tour on Saturday, so we fly out on Saturday. I wish I was uh, hanging around because the lineup's killer, man. It's great. It's great. Really good. I feel like um, you could look at the headliners and it might not be, you know, I don't know about you, but it might not be your bag for people watching. I can't but remember who's headlining. Uh, it's like Lower Than Atlantis and oh, right. Slaves, and it's yeah. like the kind of radio on rock bands. It's yeah. like that's that's cool if you like that. But yeah. and then the second stage, like Menzingers and yeah. Doe and Beach Lang and stuff. Yeah. Like that's really cool. I didn't know Menzingers were playing. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. play on Sunday. Yeah, wow. I missed them when they came to Manchester as well, so I'm yeah, super that's stoked. Annoying. My my friend is his brother is in Menzingers. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, Bob Barnett from Captain West Sinking, is it? No, no, it's a, it's a different guy. Oh. Yeah, but yeah, I've, I just always wanted to see a set of theirs. They're really good live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so you're, you're going to tour America. You're, you're re releasing your last album, 1111, on vinyl, is that right? Uh... <laughs> it's coming out on vinyl for the first time. I've got no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's um, actually the second record. Okay. I think it's Nature Nurture right. uh, on vinyl, which has never been done on vinyl because we did Growing Pains on vinyl and we did 1111 on vinyl, but we never did Nature. Oh, okay. That's my bad. So, yeah, so I think it's Nature, but um, which is fucking awesome, yeah. And, that, and we're selling those vinyls in conjunction with tickets for our November headline tour in the UK, mm -hmm. which is super, like, super sick and yeah. really exciting. So, yeah. It's gonna be awesome, and you've um, you kind of gained a, a really good reputation as a support band of, as well. You supported some incredible bands like yeah. Weezer and yeah. Brand New. I yeah. mean, playing with those kind of bands must be sick. Yeah, man. Like it's nice. Um, it's nice playing with friends of yours that are like in bands you love. So like we've actually toured with Brand New a couple of times, which mm -hmm. is really nice, and we've just kind of become like really good mates. So that's always nice because being a f fan of a band that you're also just really good mates with it, it is really is really cool um playing with weezer was just off the chain because obviously they're <laughs> literally one of my favorite bands of all time yeah. uh so so that was really funny there was this one time when pat the drummer of weezer um he mistook our dressing room for his so we did they sound checked and then we crossed paths and then he went and chilled and we sound checked and then we came back <laughs> and he was uh was chilling in our dressing room <laughs> but we thought we walked in on him and you were like, oh, he I'm looked sorry. really startled, like, <laughs> like, you know, why are you coming in yeah. here? And we were like, oh shit. And we were like, wait, this is our room. And then, it, so he was looking at us and we were looking at him and, and then he was like, oh shit, am I in your room? We were like, yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. Like, I don't know, that could have been anyone it would have been funny, but it was funnier because it was like, that's Pat from Weezer. Like, I bet he did it on purpose. Yeah, to maybe, see what you do. Maybe. Yeah, that was awesome, man. Like we played a, f a few shows with them, and yeah. saying like seeing say and so and stuff live every day was awesome. Yeah, amazing. It was, cool. uh, was cool. Very jealous. Yeah. Also, the brand new. You toured with them in America as well, is that? Yeah, right? we did a. Yeah, we did. We toured over in the states, and then and then came back yeah. into the UK. You did the really small shows. Yeah. Yeah, I went cool. to two of those, and yeah. that was incredible. Seeing brand new like six hundred people. No way. Yeah. So it's weird. Like in the US, they were the big ones, and then we came yeah. back to the UK and did small ones. So it was weird seeing both sides of sides of that. So good. Yeah, and that must have been. Was that just before Eleven Eleven came yeah. out? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was just before. Um, yeah, it was. It was. I guess. Yeah, we probably got off the road and then recorded it. Yeah, I can't remember. So that must have been two years ago now, maybe. Yeah. Have you got any uh, any new material on the horizon? Yeah, Anything man, I'm people writing all the time. Fans? Like um, loads and loads of new songs, but we're just kind of still working on on time to like actually be able to record the thing. Yeah. Um, but like, You're touring cool. so much. We're touring so much, which yeah. is awesome. Like, and we absolutely love it. But I'm getting loads of songs down and. You know, there's loads of new material knocking around, so I feel I feel good about it. Yeah. You know, it's cool. Cool. Um, yeah. Just really exciting. Yeah. You know, lots of people to look forward to. Yeah. Tours and yeah. and new material. Yeah. And it's gonna be great. Yeah. So next year. 
Yeah. With probably new material. Yeah, I think so. I think we'll record. I, th- I think we'll record this year at some point and then release mm-hmm. next year. But if Excellent. I'm honest, I have no idea. Um, That's cool. I never have any idea about it. People, <laughs> I, I don't know, because I, I guess, like, like being the front man of the band, I should know what was going on. So people always kind of point those questions at me, and that makes a lot of sense. But mm. I, I'm, I know the least about what's going on. That's fair. Yeah, I can funny. understand that. Yeah. You're kind of the spokesperson, but not yeah, necessarily the most knowledgeable. Yeah, exactly. So I get yeah. all the questions, I have none of the knowledge. That's fine. So, yeah, whatever. You should just make stuff up. I know. <laughs> I know I should. Maybe I will. I started announcing a tour. <laughs> like, when we were... I downloaded I announced the tour that we're doing in October. We're not doing a tour in October. We're doing <laughs> an October, a November tour. But I was like, come to the tour in October. It's going to be sick. Nice. Like, there is no tour, but whatever. Well... You just keep doing what you do best, yeah. which is uh, playing in Dinosaur Pileup, and uh, you're playing in about an hour, so have yeah. a great set. I'm yeah. looking forward to Thanks, it. Man. Seeing you again. I saw you last year with the big blow up dinosaur in the crowd oh, as well. Oh, did you? <laughs> Sick. That was funny, right? <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that's, uh, we, that started in, uh, we were playing some shows in, in Tokyo, and our label out there like sorted that. I thought it was kind of embarrassing because <laughs> I never like people to take the band like literally like mm. dinosaur pilot, let's get loads of dinosaurs on t shirts and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. yeah, like I was a bit like, oh that's kinda of lame. But then seeing like ten thousand people or whatever at the festival we were playing, I think it's some Sonic actually, like seeing the, all these like this row of huge blow up dinosaurs like <laughs> get released into the crowd it was unbelievable and the funniest thing was we did that a couple of times afterwards like in the UK and maybe in Scala as well and stuff in London when we played Scala mm-hmm. obviously all those dinosaurs like disappeared immediately yeah. like like all over the venue and then just like people nicked them that's fine but in Japan when it happened there was like 10 of them and they it was so weird because they went miles like the festival was quite big yeah. and then when we walked off stage so when we were like getting our gear so we've come back on stage the, the gig's over and like we're packing up and stuff all those dinosaurs had been returned nice like, like so polite so polite like and respectful <laughs> they'd all returned them and I was like no man you should have just taken them But that would not happen here no way yeah no no <laughs> fucking way well cool have a good set yeah, man looking forward to seeing you guys on your UK headline tour in November not yeah, October yeah, as well yeah. and uh, yeah have a great time yeah, thanks, man. Uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll see you later subscribe to the channel like the video bye 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 Bye, goodbye, bye, bye.